So we gave F set as an attribute. It's a very important attribute. So what happens? F set is a small bit. It's a it's a small bit in attribute byte. Okay, attribute byte is one byte, which is going to get stored just before the field. So there are eight bits here. So in these eight bits, there is one bit which denotes F set. So that F set can be either having a value of zero or one. If F set is zero. It it means it's off. One means it's on. So F set stands for MDT. Okay, I'll tell you what is MDT. Modified data tag. Modified data tag. It, again, it's a very important interview question. So when F set is off, modified data tag is off. It will have a zero value. Modified data tag. When F set is on, modified data tag is on. So what is modified data tag? So by default, data doesn't come from screen to program. So this is screen and program. When data comes from screen to program, which command gets data from screen to program? Receive. Receive command. That's good. Receive command is going to receive data from screen to program. So when you receive data from screen to program, all the data is will never come into program. Okay, which data then come comes to program? I'll tell you which data comes to program. Data that was changed. Changed by user. Or entered by user. Then data that has F set in attribute. Data that was changed by user. Data that was that has F set in attribute. Okay. I'll I'll show you the screen. Probably I'll show you one example. Then you'll know much better. I think at G zero one two I think. Okay, it's still in EDF. G zero one. We have one up to one three right. Okay, number one, number two. Okay, I'm, I'm, this is addition of two numbers. So these two are unprotected. Both these data I have changed. Okay, I'm pressing enter. So both these data comes to program. It has calculated. Now, I'm just changing only second number, thousand two hundred. But so, how many fields I have changed? Only one one field I have changed. So what happens if I don't give F set in both the attributes? One so whichever has changed will the, is the only field which comes to program. So since I've given one here, this field I have changed. This field I have never touched. So since I have never touched this field, this data doesn't come to program. Okay, that's that is what F set mean. And but here since I have given F set for both, hundred also comes to program, thousand two also come to program. And two fields I am entering, pressing enter. So both the data comes to program. Now I am just entering only second data. So what happens if you don't write F set for both the fields? Only second field will get into program. First field will have low values. If first field is having low values, what happens? The computation is going to fail. Okay. And so again, an another scenario is if user doesn't enter in type any data and press enter again. So I'm pressing enter. You can see the uh, I mean notification here. Just see the notification here. See uh, it shows enter key. The user can press enter any number of times without changing the data. So if you don't give F set, no data goes to program. Then program will fail. We have a condition called AEI9. AEI9 is an append. It's called map fail append. So map fail append happens when there is a no data comes to program. When it comes, when there is no F set, and when there is no uh, data entered by user, 
and just user is pressing f enter enter key again and again press your enter enter key but here in this program i given f set so data comes to program at any cost so i'll just show you modify data tag so this is a one bit in attribute byte we can turn it turn off turn off turn on any time if you write f set in a, when you are in attribute byte always mdt will be on when mdt is on data is transferred to program when mdt is off data will not be transferred to program and when the generally data is transferred to program when data is entered by user when data was changed by user mdt will be on otherwise when when you have f set in attribute mdt will be on always and what is the use of mdt then so when there are many fields 25 fields to be entered by user what happens in real time if you are entering 25 fields only one field is in error when you first enter uh, type in all 25 fields all 25 fields goes to program so this is this uh, this mdt concept is there in all technology in all the screens so when in the first time when you enter type all 25 fields say in facebook profile everything goes to program and program what it program does it is going to edit or it's going to validate every field so it's going to validate every field suppose there is about 25 fields out of 25 fields only one field is in error what it does it is going to protect all the 24 fields and it is not going to it is going to highlight the 25th field with red color probably depends on design and programming in red color and place the cursor there then what user is going to user is going to change that field and then press enter again when user press enter again usually in real time programming what how it does we don't change send the 24 fields to program because already protected user cannot type and f set will not be on so 24 fields will not be sent to program so what program does program is going to check whether field is having low values or not if it is low values it is going to skip the validation okay because validation can happen it could be a simple logic or it could validate against a database also so we can avoid those database calls okay we need not do unnecessary validation for the for already validated fields so we are going to validate only the latest entered field so our program is going to be perform better much better so we need not every time when user presses enter key we need not validate all the fields instead validate only the fields which is typed change that's why we have this concept of mdt mdt concept is there in all the technology so once we have validated we protect the fields just to make sure it is not typed in again so it depends on design also sometimes it will be unprotected also but whichever is changed is are the only fields data which is sent to program to make sure program avoids unnecessary validation then but program is going to be the same program it is going to check whether it is low values or not if greater than low values it is going to process the data in the field if it is less than or equal to low values it is going to bypass the validation because validation can act, act, i mean can be against database can be against the file it could be a very complex logic also okay so we can avoid all these and that is the reason we have mdt i'll just read this again rule of bms data gets transferred to program only if user enters data if user doesn't enter any data then low values get passed to program here in only in main frame another way to transfer data every time whether user keys in data or not is to set f set attribute in map definition okay and there is one more uh, another thing if user presses end key again data will not be passed i am not going to tell that i am just going to remove this so these are the rule rule of bms that if you know this that's enough when when, when data will be on when user enters data in unprotected field mdt will be on another way to transfer data every time is to set f set attribute and we can also set f set attribute dynamically also through program so in in when you in a send map apart from free kb alarm you can give fr set fr set is going to reset the f set and 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 moreover you can also turn f set on off in in program those are in advanced programming you can ignore for now 
So since we want to work on, I mean, real time pseudo conversation programming, uh, what I have done for training, I have done F set. I have asked you to give F set in all the all the fields. Otherwise, if you don't give F set, and if there is no data transfer to program, you will get an append AE I nine. That's called map fail error. These are some errors you will getting. Map fail error. No data is entered. Asra is data exception meaning invalid data in numeric data numeric field and if you are trying to process addi doing addition subtraction or computation it's going to be asra you'll be getting asra abm0 invalid map name my shift is not working that's why i'm getting some errors Okay, AEI9, these are some common append codes which you have to avoid. And APCT is another append code. Program name or transaction name are not defined in tables. 